Assalamu alaikum. Today we will teach about the prime numbers. That is the first chapter of new syllabus mathematics D1. Now, before moving towards the prime numbers, just recall the whole numbers that is given in your book. Okay, whole numbers, we have two categories, even number and odd number. So, first of all, these need to reinforce what are the whole numbers. Whole numbers are those numbers which are studied by zero, zero, one, two, and so on. Now, the number that is studied by the zero, it is called the whole number, and the number that is start from one, it is called the natural number. Now, whole number are further classified into two steps. That is one even number, and the other is odd number. So, what are the even numbers? The numbers, the whole numbers that are divisible by two are called the even numbers. What does this mean? Each term that is divisible by two, her word term just come two se divide kar sakte hain, pas even number hoga. Now, what is the odd numbers? That is not divisible by two, suppose. I won't, I will take six. So, six is divisible by two. Yes, it is divisible by two, that means that is the even number. Now, if I consider this seven, so is seven is divisible by two? No, so it is not the even number. So, if a number is not the even number, then that is odd number. So, again, we take the example, 11. Is 11 is divisible by two? Two k table me 11 nahi aata. That means 11 is not divisible by two. It is not the even number, so it will be odd number. So it is a number system that the whole numbers will be divided into two. Now we move towards the composite numbers and the prime numbers. Now we will consider the definition that is given on your book page four about prime number. A prime number is a whole number that has exactly two different factors, one and it itself. And a composite number is a whole number that has more than two different factors. Now we will implement how this definition will work out with the numbers. Now, make the factors of two. How many factors of two we have? Okay, two multiplied by one. Then we will obtain two. So there is only two factors of two. That is one and two. So if two ones are two, my plus two, then we didn't have another option. Now make the factors of four. Four multiplied by one is equal to four, as well as two multiplied by two is equal to four. So how many factors of four we have? One, two, four. Now make the factors of five. Five ones are five. So there we have only two factors, that is one, and five. Now make the factors of six. Six multiply by one, then six one zero six. Two multiply three, again is six. And uh, three multiply by two. There is the same term. So again we have six. One, two, three, and six. This is the factor of six. Now from taking this factor, we differentiate the or we implement the definition of composite number as well as the prime number. I again repeat it, prime number are those numbers that have only two factors. How many factors? Only two. One factor will be one and the second will be itself. Suppose it's two, there, there should be must one two in their factor. So one successful is there should be any one and itself, so two. So it is a prime number. Now look at this number four. Four have three factors. More than two factors are called the composite number. Now five, only two factors. One by itself and the second is one. So again, it is a prime number. Consider the six. One, two, three, four. More than two factors. So in this situation, we have four factors. So that means this is a composite number. So it make a clear definition from this that we have a prime number that is only two factors. One should be one and the second will be itself. Suppose if we consider the table two, so there will be two. If I consider the prime number three, so it will be three. If I consider the prime number seven, so it will be seven, one in seven. So it will be a prime number. Now there's a situation. Zero one is a prime number or a composite number. So if you make the factors of one, so one one zero one, there is only one factor one. And if I consider the zero, so zero one is equal to zero. 
0 multiplied by 2 is equal to 0, 0 multiplied by 3 and so on, even to million, trillion, infinite number of terms, the answer will be 0. So, in prime numbers, a number that have only two factors, so in this situation, there is only one factor, so it is not a prime number. Obviously, then if I not a prime number, then a uh, composite number. So if I consider the zero, then zero had infinite number of factors. What does mean of infinite? A number that doesn't have any boundary. It is a number which has no limitations. It is a number which is not in range. Out of range. Then we have zero. What is this? What is this? Not a prime number, not a composite number. So one. और जीरो हमारे पास दो ऐसी सिचुएशन है जो कि ना ही हमारे पास प्राइम नंबर होते हैं ना ही कंपोजिट नंबर होते हैं एंड व्हाट इज द रीजन इज दैट के वन का सिर्फ और सिर्फ एक फैक्टर है और प्राइम नंबर में कंडीशन है कि हमारे पास टू फैक्टर्स होने चाहिए और जीरो के हमारे पास इनफिनाइट नंबर ऑफ फैक्टर्स हैं जबकि हमारे पास कंपोजिट की कंडीशन होती है कि फिनाइट नंबर ऑफ फैक्टर्स होना चाहिए and what is the difference between finite and इनफिनाइट फिनाइट दैट हैज द लिमिटेड रेंज एंड इनफिनाइट दैट डिडंट हैव द लिमिटेड रेंज Okay, well, we consider the example of infinite from daily life. Stars are infinite. We didn't count the number of stars. So, it is an infinite. So, zero when is a finite or infinite. Hope you consider, you understand what is the finite or infinite and what is the composite or prime numbers. Now, by taking the concept of prime and composite number, we'll make the factors. Okay. Now, after three is... Uh, 2 is 3. So 3 has two factors. 3, 1, 0, 3. So how many factors from this we obtain? 1 and 3. Now 5. Again, 5 multiplied by 1 is equal to 5. So again, we have how many factors? 2, 1 and 5. Make the factor of 6. 6 multiplied by 1, 3 multiplied by 2. So we have the factors 1, 2, 3 and 6. 7. We have only two factors, 1 and 7. Okay, 8. 8 multiplied by 1 is equal to 8. 8 1s are 8. 2 multiplied by 4 is 8. So we have the factors 1, 2, 4, 8. 9. 9 1s are 9, 3. Multiply by 3. 3, 3 is 9. So we have the factors 1, 3, 9. Don't need to write it again and again. Consider 3 this time only one. Only one factor. 1, 3, 9. Just take out the terms. Don't repeat the terms in this question. Okay, 10. We have the factors of 10. That is 10 multiplied by 1. 2 multiplied by 5. So we have the factors 1, 2, 5 and 10. Okay, then I'm doing 16. 1 multiply by 16. 16 ones are 16. Then 2 multiply by 8. 2 eights are 16. And 4 multiply by 4. So how many factors we have? 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. Okay, no need to panic about that. Kis ko humne is ascending order mein likh sakte hai. Aap jaise chho aap likh lo. Aap likh lo 1, 16, 2, 8, 4. Aap is trance bhi likh sakte ho. Then we do 19. Again, 19 is a prime number. How so? 1 multiplied by 19 is 19. So we have two factors 1 and 9. And you do this table. Apply the same process. Make the factors. How many factors each number have? 11, 12, 13, 14, whatever. And write on all the factors in this table. Now, what is need to do? Now consider taking the definition, recall the information of prime number and composite numbers and differentiate how many uh, numbers in from 1 to 20 are the composite and as well as the prime numbers. So now move again, move towards the page number three. One, one is have only one factor, so it is not a composite, not a prime number. Two, only two factors, one and second is itself. It is two, so the uh, itself means that two, the two he factor hoga. So this is a prime number. Three, aapke paas again prime number. Four, consider for one, two, three, more than two factors you have. So that means this is a composite number. 5, 1 and 2, only 2 factors, so that means a prime number. 
again 6 1 2 3 4 that is a composite number 2 prime number 8 how many factors do you have 1 2 3 4 that means this is a composite number and so on this table after doing this table now you will be answerable towards this question what you have the questions group a make the groups of your factors of all the numbers from 1 to 20 contains a number with exactly one factor so there is a number that has only only one factors and that number is one sirf one hi hamare paas aisa number hai jiska hamare paas sirf aur sirf ek number factor hai contains number that numbers with exactly two different factors now consider 1 to 20 all the numbers now comparison in which number which number has exactly the two factors now didn't solve all the tables so definitely when you will do you do can you can do the comparison that is all the prime numbers 2 3 5 7 5 7 mm, 11 13 17 19 there are all the prime numbers now group c contains numbers with more than two factors now all the composite numbers that you have from 1 to 20 write down that composite numbers in this last question is is 0 divisible by 1 2 3 4 how many factors does 0 have yes 0 is divided by all these terms and how many factors does 0 have i as already i explained you at the start 0 has infinite number of factors so that is we have done with the page 3 and 4. Now to find out the prime number, there is an other method given on the page 4 of chapter 1. That is sieve of Eratosthenes. Okay, now we will find out how we can find out the prime numbers from this, using this method. So now we have the method sieve of Eratosthenes. By using this method, the number that are will be circled will be prime number at the end and the number that will be crossed are not the prime number. So now apply the steps that are written in this method from the counting from 1 to 100. Okay, first is cross out 1. So cross the 1. Now circle 2. So circle 2. Okay, now cross out all the other multiples of 2. Cross all the other multiples of 2. Now 4, 6, 8. Uh, okay, what does mean of multiple of 2? You have to numbers ko cross out all numbers which are 2 tables. Because 2 is two two divisible. Hai. Divisible of 2. You have to have multiples of 2 hongi, basically. So 10. And the number, what are the identification of even number? The number that is divisible by the 2. So look out. 0 is an even number. So this a full line is will be uh, multiple of 2 so it will be cut in down so 20 30 40 50 because whenever there is a 0 that means this number will be divisible by 2 so cut it down 100 again 8 again 8 is the even number so cut this line too now 6 even number again this is multiple of 2 4 this is multiple of 2 14 24 34 whatever the line is okay then 2 all this line container 2 at the end to that means this is also be divisible by 2 so cut it down it will be in the multiple of 2 now after doing this read out the other steps circle the next number that has not been crossed out that is 3 okay that is not crossed out that is 3 next number ko circle kar lein jo ke abhi jo ke 3 aur jo cut down nahi hua va Cross all the multiples of the 3 now. Her's number ko cross kar dein, jokya aapke paas 3 se multiple hai. Now cut it down the 9, So cut all the numbers that is multiple of 3, um, 45, um, 
ओके सेवेंटी नाइन यस टू सिक्स सेवन नो 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 सेवेंटी नाइन सॉरी इट विल बी नोट सेवेंटी नाइन इज नोट द मल्टीपल ऑफ थ्री ओके एटी सेवन नाइन्टी थ्री Ninety-nine. So now, what is the next step? Circle the next number that has not been crossed out. Five, four. Okay. Uh, five. Since four has been crossed out, so next number will be five because four is already crossed. Now, cross all the multiple of five. All the multiple of five. So, yeah. This complete line. And in the five, the table we have ten, twenty, thirty, forty. So this is already cut down. Now, what is the next step? Repeat this process until all the numbers have either been circled or crossed. Now we have still the numbers that is next is seven. Seven is a prime number. So again, circle this and cross out, uh, cross all the multiples of seven. Repeat this process until we didn't have even single a number that is that not might be circled as well as cross out. So we cross out the factors of seven. That is fourteen. That is already cut. Then twenty one cut. Twenty three already cut it. Thirty five cut it. Then we have forty two already cut. Then forty nine. Then after forty nine, fifty six. That is cut. Then sixty three. Again, cut it. Then seventy. Already cut down. Then seventy seven. Seventy lines are seventy seven basically. Then we have eighty four. That is already cut. Next one is ninety one. So this uh, I, we just I just cut down all the multiples of seven. Then after seven, we have prime number. That is still left is eleven. Now, cut the multiple of eleven. Eleven is eleven. Eleven is two is a twenty-two. Then thirty-three. Three is a thirty-three already cut. Four is a forty-four. Look at the forty-four. Then fifty-five, sixty-six, seventy-seven, eighty-eight, ninety-nine. Then multiples of eleven already cut. Next prime number is thirteen. Circle thirteen. Now check out the multiples of thirteen. This is twenty-six. Uh, where is the twenty six already cut? Then next is thirty nine cut fifty two already cut. Then sixty five and seventy eight already cut. Then check the multiples of seventeen. Now next number we have the seventeen. That is a prime number again. The number is left behind. So check the multiple of seventeen. Okay, we. Just check out the multiples that are under hundred. So seventeen one to seventeen, seventeen two to thirty-four. Thirty-four is already cut. Then fifty-one. Cut fifty-one. The next is sixty-eight. Okay, cut next is eighty-five. Then, then what is the number left behind? Is prime number nineteen. So check out the multiples of nineteen. Thirty-eight. Thirty-eight already cut. Fifty. Fifty-seven, fifty-seven. So fifty-seven is already cut. Then seventy-six, seventy-six is cut, and ninety-five, ninety-five is all the cut. Now still next number we have twenty-nine. Multiples of twenty-nine. Now I circle the number that is left behind. Eleven, thirty-one, forty-one. Sixty one, seventy one. Now two, uh, three, thirteen, twenty three, forty three, fifty three, eighty three, 
and 73 then Thirty seven, forty seven, sixty seven, ninety seven. Then in this line we have fifty nine, seventy nine, and eighty nine. Yes, now count the numbers that are circle one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So there are 25 prime numbers in counting from 1 to 100. Now move towards the questions. Okay, first question is, what is the smallest prime number? So in this, the smallest prime number is 2. What is the largest prime number less than or equal to 100? So in the in 100, we have the largest prime number that is 97, the last circuit number. How many prime numbers are less or equal to 100? How many prime numbers total? There are 25 from 1 to 100. Is every odd number a prime number? Explain your answer. Every odd number is a prime number. No, not that every odd number is a prime number because we have a prime number 9. 9 is odd, but it is not a prime number. It is a composite number because we can make the factors of 9, 9 multiplied by 1 and 3 multiplied by 3. So total number of factors we have 1, 3, 9. Total 3 factors, so it is a composite number. Is every even number is a composite number? Even number. Explain your answer. No, we have an even number 2 and 2 has the only two factors 1 multiplied by 2. So 2 is a prime number. That's me. No, not every even number is a composite numbers. Why so? Just give the justification. Take any other numbers. You can also take the 0. For a prime number greater than 5, what can the last digit be? Explain your answer. For a prime number greater than 5. Okay, greater than 5 means 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and so on. Because they didn't give the limit. So, mostly what we have the last numbers. Just consider first the even numbers. 0, 2, 4, 6 and 8. The number that is end by these numbers. Pause 1, 0, 22, whatever. The digit that has the last number. Even number. Definitely, this will be multiplied by the 2. That's, uh, these are the multi uh, multiples of 2. That means this is a composite number. The digit that end with the factors last number 5 and uh, 0. Again, this will be divided by 5. So, the digits that are having the second number, last number, you can also say the last digit that is 1, 3, 7 or 9. That will be the prime number. So the digits that have the uh, greater than uh, the numbers that are greater than five and having the last number one three seven are uh, or nine are the prime numbers greater than five. Now general writing on again the same page. Can the product of two prime numbers can be an odd number? Product of two odd numbers, two odd numbers that are not the divisible of three. Uh, sorry, two. Or numbers are door numbers. So we can take or number. Okay, the product of two prime numbers. So I will take the two prime number. First is two. Two is also the prime number. And the second prime number is three. When we multiply, two multiply by three. So we'll get the six. That is the even number. Then, can the product of two prime number be even number? Take any two prime numbers that the product will be even number. So I again consider 2 and 3. So I just take two prime number and the answer of prime the answer of the product of two prime number is even number. So yes, the product of two prime number is an even number. Now can the product of two prime number be a prime number? So two prime number I just consider 3 and 5. So the product of product means multiplication. The product of two prime numbers is a prime number. Three five is a fifteen. So fifteen have multiple products. Fifteen 
multiply by 1, 3 multiply by 5. So how many number of factors we have? From here, 1, 3, 5, and 15. So no, the product of two prime numbers is not a prime number. So in the page 6, we have a uh, question to in practice now 1. I will do the question number 1 and the exercise question that all really went to the uh, same method. So we will do, I will do in the next lecture. Now in this lecture, we just covered the practice now 2. In practice now 1, question 2. So what is the question it is? Because parents must have difficulty solving this question to the students. So definitely we will do firstly. So in this game, a policeman is chasing a thief. The policeman can only step on task with prime numbers. Okay. A policeman has to chase a thief. Ko chase kar hai. Wo sif for sif prime numbers ki tiles ko use karega. This each block represents a tile. Wo sif prime numbers ki tiles ko use kar hai. Share the tiles to trace the route which can be taken to catch the thief. Or okay, just take the hint from this. The policeman just travel or using the tiles that contain the prime numbers. So from sixty eighty three, we just consider the tiles that contain the number that is a prime number so next to 83 is 17 now after revising all the concept hope so you have the concept of prime numbers so just recall all the uh, lecture that i'm just giving you and uh, shared it the prime number so 103 43 is a prime number just find out the root then 7 is a prime number 127 prime number no 51 no it is prime number divisible by 3 so 29 is a prime number 71 37 53 exactly 149 uh yes 61 is a prime number 68 then 5 prime number 131 and 11 so what will be the root this is the root that a policeman follow to chase the or uh, chase or caught the thief. Thank you. So um, today lecture just contain the concept of prime numbers, whole numbers, composite numbers, and the investigation and the game that is given in your book. Now for more lectures, just subscribe to the channel because whenever the more lecture or new lecture is uploaded, that lecture will be shown in your playlist. Thank you.